Hey guys, what's up? It's App Review Man. Today I have not an application review or product review or an iPod touch review. I actually have a trick that you can do in Snow Leopard. Um, as you can see, my background here is actually moving. And this is actually my desktop here. Files on my desktop and there is the uh, dock. Um, you know, I can move these around. It, it is my desktop and there's a thing that you have to do in terminal first to do this so first go to system preferences and choose what screensaver you want here are a couple of them computer name flurry Shell, which is what's on there now. Spectrum, wall, word of the day, and then you can do pictures. But if you watched my other video, I already showed you how to like change pictures every so many minutes. Um, but here I'll pick this one. Okay, so now this is my screensaver, but as you notice, it didn't change. Um, I will need to type in the code again and I will show you guys how to do that um, so let me close this terminal okay and it went right back to the picture now I will put the code that you need to type in in the description so you click applications utilities terminal or you can just simply go up to spotlight and type in terminal and there it is. So, there it is. Now, I saved the uh, code. It's right there. I'm not going to say it because it wouldn't really make any sense. I'll just copy that, paste it. And as you can see, it automatically changed it to my desktop to... Um, that screensaver. <coughs> it does kind of slow down your system a little bit, especially if you're doing a lot of things. But as you can see, my C CPU is actually a lot there. The memory is not so bad, uh, but CPU is really up there. And I have Mail, Safari, iChat, QuickTime, uh, Adium, iTunes Preview, all that stuff running as well. So it really does slow it down. But if, if it looks real nice uh, to have a video as a background instead of pictures, just pictures. <coughs> but once you type that in, you need to put that uh, code in. And the only thing that I don't like about this is you cannot just put it in there and then let it go you need to keep that terminal um, window open um, cause this is what would happen if you would exit out it says do you want to close <coughs> and would, if you hit close it goes right back to the desktop now Okay, so there it is again. And okay, let's say I want to change my screensaver. Let me pick Flurry. Okay, now that is my desk or my screensaver. Sorry. 
and as you see it did not change what you need to do is you need to put it in there again let me see here okay so what you need to do is you need to completely close out of this open up a fresh terminal page and put it in again so that's a neat little trick that I found how to do in Mac uh, OS X Snow Leopard if you'd like me to do more um, you know tips product reviews or you know application reviews uh, leave a comment below telling me what you want to see more of what you'd more be interested in so I can get more viewers and then I'm not doing something that people don't want to see or watch um, thanks for watching guys check out your Uh he has updates on Apple news um, videos like what I do and a whole bunch of different things like that all Apple so you guys want to go check that out that would be awesome thank you guys so much for watching rate comment and subscribe